In this video, I want to investigate how to solve differential equations using the Fourier series. So consider a mass on a spring uh, described by the position x of t, a uh, mass of one kilogram and a spring constant of three newtons per meter, and an external force, a sinusoidal external force. So let's start by asking what is the differential equation for this x of t, and then we'll get into the Fourier series part. So the sum of the forces is equal to the mass times acceleration, which tells us that minus kx plus the external force is equal to mx double dot. Or writing that as a differential equation, we have x double dot plus 3x is equal to 2 sine of t, using our values for m and k. So now let's solve this differential equation just for practice, because we're going to need to uh, feel confident with this part. So we first start with the homogeneous solution. The homogeneous solution is the solution to x double dot plus 3x is equal to 0. Uh, and by the usual methods, we find that that solution is a cosine of the square root of 3t and b sine of the square root of 3t. The inhomogeneous solution, or the solution to the inhomogeneous differential equation, rather, uh, the particular solution, uh, we remember when we solve an inhomogeneous differential equation, we try a test solution. So we're going to try c1 sine of t plus c2 cosine of t. We insert this into the differential equation, uh, and we are left with the condition that 2c1 sine of t plus 2c2 cosine of t must be equal to 2 sine of t. Well, that's pretty clear. It must mean that c1 is 1 and c2 is 0. And so now we add these two together to get the most general solution. And the general solution involves then the homogeneous solution. So the cosine of square root of 3t and the sine of square root of 3t, as well as the particular solution, the sine of t. Okay, so that was just a warm-up on how to solve these types of differential equations. What I really want to consider uh, is an external force that is not just one term, but rather something maybe that looks like this, the sawtooth like this. Okay, so for the sawtooth, we say that the function is t and repeats every 2 pi. Well, and we can represent that as a Fourier series. So the Fourier series for this force is a sum on n, 2 over n minus 1 to the n plus 1 sine of nt is the Fourier series for this external force. So when we insert this into our differential equation for the external force, we now get something that looks like x double dot plus 3x on the left-hand side. But now on the right-hand side, instead of one term, we have a sum, in fact, an infinite sum of terms, the 2 over n minus 1 to the n plus 1 sine of nt. This looks a lot more complicated because there's an infinite number of terms on the right-hand side. So how do we possibly solve something like this? So this is where the technique of using Fourier series to solve these differential equations will come from. So let's just write out the right-hand side. So the right-hand side, the first term is 2 sine of t, then minus 2, or minus sine of 2t, plus 2 thirds sine of 3t, and so on and so forth. But I know the solution, if I just had this first term, um, that's the particular solution that I just derived earlier. So that particular solution was sine of t. I also know that the homogeneous solution is the same as what I had before. So that's the a square root of 3, cosine square root of 3t, and sine of square root of 3t. OK, so really what I need to do is I need to find a particular solution for each of the additional terms on the right-hand side. And then I'm just going to add all of those particular solutions to the homogeneous solution. And then I'll have my full solution. Uh, so in general, what this looks like is the solution x of t will be a homogeneous piece, x sub h, plus an infinite sum of terms that I'm labeling by n, an infinite sum, in fact, of particular solutions. So 
So this is what my solution x of t is ultimately going to look like. So how do we find this? Uh, well, in order to find this, the nth particular solution, x sub p to the n, well, we're just going to look at the nth term on the right-hand side. So we have x double dot plus 3x is equal to stuff plus, and then the nth term is 2 over n minus 1 to the n plus 1 sine of nt plus other terms. So I'm just going to find the solution for that nth term where n is general. As usual, we put in a guess for our particular solution. We're going to guess sine of nt and cosine of nt for our guess. And then we're going to insert that into the differential equation. And then when we insert that into the differential equation, we get a condition on what the particular solution should be. So 3 minus n squared cn sine of nt plus, well, the same things, 3 minus n squared d sub n cosine of nt. And that must all be equal to that nth term on the right-hand side. OK, so clearly that means dn is equal to 0. And cn, well, it looks like it's 2 times minus 1 to the n plus 1 all over n times 3 minus n squared. OK, so we found the nth particular solution. And so now we actually know the general solution. We're just going to add together for our general solution, the homogeneous solution, plus the infinite number of particular solutions. And we know the arbitrary coefficient, for arbitrary n that is, the c sub n times sine of nt. And it's kind of interesting here, the input to our system was a Fourier series. So that driving force was a Fourier series. And so what we get out at the end of the day is yet another Fourier series. And that sort of makes sense.